Some and Ganu is like a character in a movie. Francis Ngannou is a manifestation god. In the span of 10 years, he went from being a homeless no-name, sleeping on puck benches, to becoming a UFC heavyweight champion, fighting the biggest names in boxing for FU money. Oh yeah, Francis is also an entrepreneur, a chairman of an MMA organization. How did he do it? In this video, you will learn how Francis unconsciously used the manifestation technique popularized by a Russian physicist to perfection. You will learn reality transurfing to build your desired life. Francis was born in a small village in Cameroon. At six years old, Francis' parents divorced and he was forced to move out and live with his aunt and eight cousins. By the age of nine, Francis would spend hours in sweltering heat doing grueling manual labor at the sand mines. This was a job that was not fit for a child, but one that had to be done if he were to have food on the table. From this young age, Francis understood that a life of suffering was not meant for him. This worldview created tension between him and his family. They thought whether I would be a builder or a farmer or a, uh, maybe a carpenter or a mechanic or something, and my question was, then why can I do something else? What Francis had to overcome is a phenomenon called a pendulum in the model of reality transurfing. Before diving into pendulums, what is reality transurfing? Vadim Zeland is the Russian physicist and mystic behind the underground book celebrated by many high performers. His transurfing model explains how reality operates very much like a multiverse. There are infinite possibilities, and the life you live is merely one highlighted sector of what he calls the alternatives space. There is a reality in which you are the president, one where you are a beggar, and another a monk. Some realities are closer and slightly different to the one you're currently living. Others are farther away. We shift from one reality to another through our thinking, emotions, and actions. Big shifts happen primarily through an invisible force called outer intention, which we will touch on soon. Consider this. There are many people in Cameroon, many physical specimens who could have done well in MMA and boxing, but instead they're still working at the markets. There are many hidden geniuses who could uncover the secrets of the universe like an Einstein or Newton, but they live normal suburban lives lecturing at boring universities. Why do so many people stay within the mundane? The biggest reason is due to the crippling power of pendulums. A pendulum can be seen as the belief and influence of a group mind. Whenever two or more people unite and think along the same frequency towards a common cause, a pendulum is created. Some examples of pendulums are governments, religions, corporations, cults, sports teams, schools. Pendulums are destructive because they are energetic vampires. The main goal of a pendulum is to recruit people and battle other pendulums. This is why certain religions have been at war with each other for centuries. Families can have blood feuds and businesses battle in fierce competition, all because of pendulums. One of the keys to rapid manifestation is learning to ignore the pendulums which do not serve you. Francis was under the heavy influence of a cultural pendulum. His African culture did not have room for him living a life of greatness. It was concerned more with survival and protecting the family reputation. It was riddled with generational curses which kept its people mentally impoverished. Francis rejected this pendulum. This allowed his mind to wonder about other potential lifelines, other possibilities in the alternative space. This happened accidentally through the power of visualization. Almost every great success begins with visualization. Nikola Tesla, the man who invented many fundamental technologies from the 21st century, visualized every night before bed. Roger Bannister beat the four-minute mile in his mind well before he did it physically. Arnold visualized becoming a bodybuilding champion and movie star while still a teenager. Francis did the same but for different reasons. His current lifeline was too painful to bear. 
He used the visualization as an escape from his reality. I started to think about it a lot. And then what I did was that I started to imagine the perfect family that I wanted or the perfect life that I wanted. Like the advice of the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, he used his mind as an inner citadel. Francis began seeing himself as a boxing champion at age 13. The dream continued to brew inside him for several more years before he would finally take action. At age 22, he decided to leave his small village to pursue boxing in the city. What fueled him was a burning desire. He no longer wanted to be an embarrassment. I'm gonna prove them. They, they can keep looking at me like that. At the boxing gym, he quickly learned he was on the right path. His physicality and natural skill set were perfect for the sport. The only problem was he could not realize his dream in Cameroon. He needed to go to a land with more opportunities. The United States was ideal, but not an option for him due to his financial situation. He then decided to make the life-changing decision to illegally immigrate to Europe. The voyage was a dangerous one. It even involved him risking his life traveling across the sea in a small inflatable Zodiac boat. What drove this man to such lengths? The answer is his visualization, which created inner tension. The disconnect between his humiliating outer reality and the perfection of his inner world was too great. The bold move would change the trajectory of his life. On the 28th of October, 2023, Francis shocked the world by humiliating Tyson Fury, a heavyweight boxing champion, in his first ever professional boxing match. Here was a man with no professional experience, beating down the supposed champion of the world in his first match. Many people called it the real Rocky Balboa story. Many people believe he had won the fight. But how was this possible? How could a man go from being homeless to fighting on the biggest stage in just over a decade? Many boxers dedicate their lives to the craft, yet never get close to such an opportunity. The answer is outer intention, the most powerful force in the world. Let's first uncover the secret by defining what intention is. Intention is different from desire. Desire is simply wanting something. Intention is wanting it and willing to see its completion regardless of the cost. When you see someone doing karate and trying to break a board, they often punch at the board. This never works. Only when they decide to punch through the board does it break. Even the legendary samurai Miyamoto Musashi gave the same advice in his book of the five rings. The model of trans surfing separates intention into two categories, inner intention and outer intention. Inner intention is what you use in your everyday life. It's all about willpower. It's when you fight the world to make things happen. These words best describe inner intention. Try, struggle, want, force, attempt. You can make progress with this traditional intention, but your life will be an uphill battle. Outer intention is a different beast. It's best explained through the word magic. It's about allowing, receiving, having, choosing, and being. Outer intention is about setting your intention in your mind and allowing the world to give you what you want. There is a strange universal force that will give you what you already own mentally. This force will create the pathway to your realization in ways you cannot comprehend. The key is to accept whatever pathway is presented to you to achieve the goal. Francis first became a boxing champion in his mind at age 13. This mental reality became as real to him as his physical life. He saw a path to achieving the goal through the dangerous migration to Europe. The United States was what he wanted, but Europe is what he was given. He accepted this. In Paris, whilst homeless, he was given an opportunity to train in mixed martial arts. Boxing is what he wanted, but MMA is what was given. He accepted this. Had he declined the offerings of outer intention, he likely would have never been in the ring with the boxing greats. Francis accepted the path and worked his way up in the UFC until he became the heavyweight champion. But he would decide to throw it away in a move that would shock all MMA fans. In January 2023, 
After months of failed negotiations, Francis decided to leave the UFC while still being a champion. The move shocked many fans. Many people criticized Francis' decision stating that he had fumbled the bag. But Francis was simply exercising the last important piece needed to activate outer intention. He lowered his importance to the goal. Have you ever wondered why the concept of beginner's luck exists? A beginner who has never played a game unknowingly performs exceptionally well. But when in the game a better understanding of the difficulty of the game, their performance suffers. Or why is it easier to walk on a tightrope that's one meter above the ground than one between the twin towers like Philippe Petit did in 1974? The answer is the level of importance. After the beginner plays well, they begin to care about their performance, which hinders their conscious and subconscious mind's alignment. They start making rookie mistakes as a result. The prospect of walking a tightrope between the twin towers creates anxiety because of the potential danger of falling off. Although the movement might be the same, the mind makes it an entirely different ordeal. For outer intention to work well, you need to lower your importance regarding the goal. You can't be thirsty for his attainment, otherwise you'll make a series of mistakes. Francis wanted to be a boxer since he was a child. He did not care about the seemingly irresponsible decision of leaving his well-paying gig in MMA. He calmly moved towards his goal of boxing because he had already accepted it mentally. Francis is now set to fight another heavyweight champion, Anthony Joshua. I believe he will shock the world and win that match. Regardless of the outcome, he has already won. If needed, if I feel like I need it, I'm capable to walk away like there was never something here. He did it through transurfing reality. You can too by following the following steps. Remove destructive pendulums from your life. Visualize your goal and experience it mentally. Own it. Accept the opportunities which come from outer intention. And finally, lower your importance levels. Don't be thirsty. You already have it.